Hello everybody and welcome to my 44th uh, BBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is just going to carry on going into user forms. So in this tutorial I'm going to just show you how to use text boxes uh, on your user forms. So first of all I'm going to just come down into my project window and go to insert and user form and we're going to create a completely new user form. Um, and what I'm going to do is just create one that will open up and just prompt for a username and passwords when the when the workbook is is opened. So um, first of all, I want to go into my sheet. I just want to make up some some usernames and passwords in here. So username, password, and then I'm going to put in my me. So I'm going to put in a uh, my Matt's going to be my username and password can be password. In fact, no, let's just make it pass one, two, three. Right. So that's my, there's my username and password. And then what I want to do is just when you open the workbook, it opens up this one. So first of all, let's just go into our properties and rename that. So uh, login underscore form. I'm just going to call it login form and then the caption is going to be please provide username and password. Alright, and then let's change the background colour because grey is really boring. Um, let's make it a dark green. And then foreground colour, I'm going to put as white. Um, actually, let's make it dark green as well because I'm going to get them dots, and I find the dots really annoying. Um, right, and then let's put in two text boxes. So to do a text box, you go to this little A B sign here, and then just click and drag, and then you've got your text box there like that. And then we want two of them. And then we just want to put labels against these. So let's move this over here a bit. And over there a bit. Right. And then we want some labels. So big A sign. And then, oh, don't double click on it. So caption, we want username. We want the four color to be white. We want the font to be a bit bigger, so um, bold size 10. Uh, let's go a bit bigger than that, size 14. Okay, that's better. And then let's just move this over here. Um, and then we want to just have a similar one, same password. So username, passwords. Just put our punctuation in. If you're anything like me, you'll double click things all the time and open up the case. Uh, right, so then also in here, we're going to change the font just so that it matches. Um, so it's the same when you're typing into it. Um, you can't see it at the moment, but I want it to be in there. Um, and then on here, uh, we just want it to show up as a uh, password. So, to, so when we type in the password, we want it to, to kind of star it out. So, if you go down to the property password char, uh, and then you can put in here just whatever character you want to be used in the password field in, when, it, when it shows up. So, I'll show you that in a minute. And then let's just finally add a button on uh, that says put the font to the same bold and 14 and caption login. And in fact, I'm going to make that a bit square and stick it on the end.
And there we go. So now we have our design made. So now we just need to put our code in to the um, mm. into the user mm. form. So first of all, we wanted to make it so it does it when the workbook opens. Let's go into this workbook and just use our workbook open event. Uh, and if you don't know how to use that, then go back to my previous tutorials. It's about ten tutorials ago now that I did workbook open. Um, and then when the workbook opens, we just want to go uh, login form dot show, and then that's going to open it up when we open up the workbook. So if we press play on that, and then there's our login screen coming up here. Now we can type in here, so I can put in my login, uh, and then I can put in a password, and then as you notice, our password character is coming through, and it's not showing it. And then we haven't got anything on this login button here, so let's just carry on. Um, so let's double click on this, and we don't want that label click one because we don't want anything to happen on the label click. So we we need to first of all create two variables in our code: uh, one to store the users. Uh, username and want to store their password. So let's put in dim username and let's not use username because that's got a chance of being um, a default one. I'm not sure if it is, but uh, and that is a string and then dim user underscore pass as string. And then we want to set username equal to login underscore form dot and then uh, we should probably name those text boxes let's just go back into our object and then just click on these and then this can be user text box and when I rename the command but things, I normally still keep the the kind of text box after it, regardless of what I've named it, just so you can remember in your code which ones are which. Um, so then login form dot uh, user text box. Um, but what we don't want to do is if this doesn't have anything in it, then it's not going to run. So we just want to test if that's got something in it first of all. So let's just copy this and put an if statement in. So this is just a little bit of validation. So if and then that and then we just want to put is no function around it. So is no and then and then put that and put it in there. At the moment, if it is null, it's going to put the value in. We want it to be the opposite way around. Uh, so let's just put a not at the start of our if. So if not is null, login form dot user form text box. So that's going to throw true now and run this when it's not null. And then otherwise, we want it to just have a message box. Please fill in. Uh, let's just put username or password is incorrect. And then X is sub. That's going to end it if they haven't put a username in. And then similarly, we want to do exactly the same, but with user pass. And we want to set it to pass text box. And then let's just put that in there. So that's going to test if the password's filled in or not. And if it is, then it's going to set user password. So if it's not, then it's going to exit the sub and not run anything. Uh, so down here, they should have a username and password. So what we want to do is just go through our list on here and just test whether or not it's on there. So I'm just going to put up a simple loop. So do counter as integer and then 
do until the swerbook dot sheets and let's call this sheet users dot sales counter comma one dot value equals nothing and then counter equals counter plus one there's other ways of looping through but this is the one that I've been showing you so far so this is the one I normally use um, and then I just want to put in another statement because I, I only want it to go down until it finds it or until it's found nothing so let's go um, or I don't know, let's put it let's put it down here so if and then we want this work but and let's just copy it from above so if that equals user underscore name and the one in the second column equals user underscore pass then and then let's just put a message box welcome to our spreadsheet so if it if they match at any point exit sub then it's going to just say welcome and then we just want to close off the user form as well so login form dot hide and then you also want to do set login underscore form equals nothing and the reason for this is because your login form will be an object in your case and if you're just hiding it it's going to stay existing in your the memory for your for your spreadsheet so if you could do that quite often with lots of different user forms then you're going to end up with loads of memory it's going to go really slow uh, and also if you open it up again it's going to have all of the old things in it so whenever you're never going to open one again or you don't think you're going to open one again just set it equal to nothing uh, and that's just a good practice to have um, and then if it gets to down here then we're just gonna copy our message box here so username or password is incorrect and then that's the end so let's just go into our workbook open and play that so it's coming up with our password so if we go Matt and then pass one, two, three, log in, and then welcome to our spreadsheet, and then the um, the the user form shuts down. Let's just try if we go into workbook open, press play. Let's put in a wrong password. So um, I'm just typing random letters there. Log in, username or password is incorrect, and it just stays on the screen. And obviously at the moment you can just close it off and you'd get into it anyway um, but the way you'd get around that is just locking down the spreadsheet um, making it hit very hidden and then um, making it show once they've in your code there and then just lock your code down as well um, so you can actually make it quite a powerful um, locking screen uh, with user logins into your spreadsheet which is quite useful because then you can also record who's in it as well um, so that is it for this tutorial um, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial